Hey Spain lovers, earlier this week, Yoli and I jumped into our quarantine kitchen uh, and we made uh, a video of me making my famous uh, tortilla española, my famous Spanish omelet recipe. So that's coming up next to show you how I make my uh, Spanish omelet. Now, if you want the recipe to this Spanish omelet, we're actually currently over at Devour Tours uh, with the team, with the guides, with uh, vendors, putting together a digital recipe book uh, that we're gonna be uh, selling to help support and get the company through these tough times. So if you want the recipe for this amazing tortilla, I hope it's amazing, uh, leave a comment below and I'll DM you when that recipe book comes out but I hope you like this video uh, I'm not the best cook in the world but that's part of the fun right let's jump to the kitchen by the way YouTube viewers I actually made this video originally for IGTV for Instagram that's why it's vertical but I thought so many people don't watch me there they watch me on YouTube so we're in lockdown quarantine I'll upload it to YouTube anyway so that's why this is vertical but there's more videos coming this week uh, for YouTube a pinch or crawl coming up soon that'll be horizontal all right Let's cook that damn tortilla. <laughs> so given we can't go out and do tapas tour videos, uh, I'm gonna cook a tortilla patatas. Really? Tor tortilla patata or tortilla patatas, Yoli? I always have the same question myself. Uh, tortilla de patata, I, I think uh, people say it both ways. All right. Yeah, tortilla oh. española as well. Oh, wow, tortilla española. Mm, Spanish okay. omelette. Enough of my talk. I'm cooking with wine. It's like a real cooking show. We've got our <laughs> wine. <laughs> Uh, personality wine. All right. Yeah. Get the eggs out. Should have got them out of here, but I'm pretty haphazard when it comes to cooking. Oh, have we got enough They'll eggs? warm up. There's oh, yeah. Yeah. tons of eggs, yeah. There's like quarantine eggs. Quarantine eggs. Yeah. Quarantine fridge. Quarantine fridge. Lots of coffee. Coffee. Very important. Six eggs. That's how many eggs I use. So six. Don't ask me if there's six big eggs or six small eggs. There's six eggs. <laughs> oh. Got another one there. So there we go. All right. What goes in a tortilla patata? Egg, onion, potatoes, the key ingredients, and obviously salt, olive oil. You can use a bit of vegetable as well. Anyway, let's start. Um, so we're gonna use the uh, white sweet onions or no, the other not, one? Is there not? Ah, there is the number one. Yeah. I'm colored mine, so I sometimes <laughs> can't tell what the difference is. Oh, darling. Okay, so we've got six eggs, actually, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's six eggs. <laughs> one onion, six eggs, one onion. How many potatoes? Now, Yoli's always like, do six potatoes. I'm very anal, as I said, I weigh the potatoes. Oh my god. So, 800 grams of potatoes to six eggs. That's so crazy that you weigh here. them. So. Let's see. Weighing the potatoes. This Weighing. is unbelievable. I mean, what? Madness. Weighing the potatoes. Okay, I'm going to do that. Does that look like enough potatoes to you, Yoli? Yes, okay, yes. Great. And then six eggs. Actually, that's perfect because for me, it's like four potatoes, for example, then five eggs. Three potatoes, four eggs. <laughs> now I need to find the chopping board. <laughs> You're going to be tidying up afterwards, right? Of course. Okay. Yeah, okay. There, it's, it's you need a, to peel the potatoes first. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's a recipe that requires you have to do something, then you have to leave it. And you have to do something, then you have to leave it. It's a bit like that. So the, the beginning one is you've got to peel the potatoes. I like to wet my potato before I peel it. Oh, really? Is that a done thing? Mm, I don't do it, but I don't know. I'm sure you can get arguments for Lubric and against. Lubricates the <laughs> surface of the potato. So when I'm making tortilla, and if Yoli's watching, I get in trouble because I leave bits like that. Oof. So I Yeah, I mean, look at that. Oh, no. <sighs> what's going on? What about these bits? You need yeah, to get rid it of. Well, what's, the, what's wrong with that? Those are roughage. They're roughage. Roughage. Are they yummy? I don't know. They're roughage. They're good for you. That, that's from a, a woman from, who's from a country where you peel apples and peaches. <laughs> it's like obsessed with taking the skin off things in this country. <laughs> because things were very dirty and we're obsessed with cleaning good, everything. <laughs> so how do you cut the potato? And now that's something that there's a lot of, I've seen different things online. There's some people, if you just get in here, Yoli, mm -hmm. who say that you should cut it into like, almost like chunks yes. that are like yeah. irregular so it's like that. my friend marina whose tortillas i admire like uh, she does it that way i've actually stopped doing that i've mm. gone more for if you come in here yoli yeah i may get this wrong because it's pretty much different every time i make it <laughs> uh hang on do we go that way or that way i never know <laughs> so now i just simply do thin yeah. slices a ver, a ver. i can't see it like that? Thin slices, about that thin. I cut the potato in half, uh -huh. and then I do, find your angle, and then I do. Right. You don't want them too thick, and, no. because then they won't cook. 
But and that takes nothing, right, to cook then? That's what's good though, because then it's uh -huh. crunchy. Okay. One of the things I love about Spain is going to the knife sharpener. So the Anton Martin market, um, there's a great knife sharpener. And man, this knife now is amazing. Yoli doesn't like to sharpen knives. She just uses blunt ones for months. <laughs> and so then your onion. Effectively, your onion, just chop it as kind of as small as possible, really. I'm lazy, so I don't chop it that small, and Yoli always tells me off. No, no, um, no, but that's good for the, yeah. I mean, you don't want it too small either. Oh, really? So how do I get that thing off? <laughs> Hang on, can I get it off me? Away. <laughs> so, get in there, Yoli. Yeah. So no, I hang on, hang on. Uh, There's skin in there uh, still. Oh skin? my god. Colorblind. Jesus. Colorblind. Is this skin? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you do do Julienne, I think. Julienne. Julien. Julien. T'es où, Julien? Okay, no. so then I cut it like that. And so really what I do, ah, my eyes. Oh yeah, I'm ah. gonna see you crying. Oh, hang on. <laughs> You're supposed to drink water, not wine. Ah, it's better. <laughs> All right. Okay, and, I and then I do that. Water. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I sort of agree. All right, my eyes are going crazy. And then what I do is I just go nuts and kind of do this for a bit. Very good. Well, the idea is that you do top it here so that you never cut your fingers. Well, so that's what I'm doing. That's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very good. There. Ah, my eyes. Ah. <laughs> Have some wine. <laughs> ah, back in. <laughs> All right. Hang yeah. on, standing away. Ah. Yeah, it's pretty powerful, this Yeah, one. it's a serious onion, Spanish onion. <laughs> Everything's dramatic in this country. <laughs> Passionate onions. More intense. All right, I'm sure I'm doing this wrong and you're all going to be freaking out because I'm going to cut my fingers off. Mm. All right. Yes. You did cut your finger. You did cut your finger once, remember? Uh, that's true. Cut my finger with a bread knife. Mm -hmm. Blood splayed up the wall. <laughs> Yeah. When we moved out of the apartment, there was still blood up in the ceiling <laughs> that we hadn't gotten off. I'm sure it's still there. All right, now we're getting now it's getting interesting. Mm. So this is where this is where I actually get a little bit nervous. I've got really sore eyes. Yeah, I know, I know. It's um, um, intense. Okay. The big pan out. So you're gonna you're gonna use two pans to make a tortilla patatas potentially. You're gonna use the one that you use to, and, and or maybe not. I don't know. I just. We use this one. This is the biggest pan we have. Pretty crappy, falling apart. Um, I have on the list to get a new pan. But um, use this one for frying the onion and the potato, and then make the tortilla in a different one. Because you need to make the tortilla in one that, first of all, you can um, flip. Yeah. And also that's a better size for a tortilla. This is too big. Yeah. We're gonna fry those potatoes and onions. Here's an area where I often get confused. <laughs> It's not lighting the fire. Um, I never know how much oil to put in. I, f I put too much and I yes. err on the side of too much. And mm. Yoli often corrects me and says, actually, no, you don't have to put so much. And you know how in every relationship there's someone who spends more money and someone who saves more money. There's someone <laughs> who, you know, will eat the leftovers and someone who will eat less leftovers. Well, you know, that's that dynamic. So you yeah. can guess who is who in that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So let's see how much we put in here, Yoli. What's the purpose here, Yoli, is to cover the uh, potatoes and yeah, the onions? Yeah, just right? enough, but just enough. You don't want to, like, drench them, you know? In exactly, because then they will be oily. Ya está? Yeah, because okay. yeah, we need to add the other. Now we're going to put this stuff I mean, in. hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's probably... You just put half of that. You think so? Yeah. And that's... Oh, well, yeah, this is our typical thing, you know? <laughs> that's so little. Ah, uh, let me see. Hold no, on. that's enough. Really? Yeah. We can so always add more. Potato? No, you can't because then it's cold. I'll put one. Okay. Right, done. It's going to be oily. My tortilla. We're going to wait for that to heat up. And then effectively, just so you have a heads up, we're going to put the potatoes in. We're going to let them do their thing for a while. And then we're going to add the onion because the potatoes will take longer to cook. So while it's warming up, the other thing we want to do, um, uh, get out from up there, is um, we have the, the, the onion. Ready. Sorry, the onion. This is an egg. <laughs> get their egg ready. Boom, boom, boom. Hola, que arte, hijo. Tiki tock. <laughs> I'm gonna beat these eggs. Get in there. It's like an action shot. 
Look at the blue on the yellow, it's beautiful. Look at that. Right, and that potato's getting ready. All right, it's all in the rest. All right. All right, I'm gonna drop these potatoes in. Ah, I always splash myself. I should have an apron on. Yeah, actually, put it on. Yeah, I'm gonna put the apron put it on. on. I'd love to have a devour apron. Mmm. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. And you wanna separate them out. High heat, so we got a high heat. Is that enough oil? Okay, see. Yeah? See. So I would normally think that's not enough oil. Yoli thinks it's enough. It's enough. In this case, Yoli's generally right on, on the oil level thing. Yes, yeah, always. What often happens is it seems like it all kind of sinks in or something. Maybe we're gonna put, I think you're doubting. I can see in your face. You're doubting if it's enough no, oil. No, no, no. You need to turn them. Turn them uh, a little bit so that they're all soaked in the olive oil. Okay. Voila. And then as they cook, they become a little bit smaller and more sort of like they all fit within each other. Yeah, okay. You know, and so, you so want that's to separate how... them from each other. Here. Yes, exactly. So you'll notice that uh, we're about how many minutes are into it? Uh, we're four, four minutes, minutes into the frying, and you'll actually see how you know what Yoli was saying is that there is enough oil. It sort of settles in a little bit. You know, it hmm. settles in so that um, I don't know. There's probably some science behind it, but anyway, you know, you don't put too much in. That's the, <laughs> that's the so yeah, so I'm going to let that go for. You know, another two more minutes, so it'll be six minutes, and then I'm going to put the, the, the onion in. I think you have to think about the fact that your first tortilla is going to be not great, and it's a bit of a, um, just just make one. Like, yeah. start now, yeah. start making tortilla, and um, you'll get better, you'll feel it out, you'll figure it out. You yeah. might change, you might be six months into your journey, and then you're like, sort of pivot one way and you're like actually i'm going to cut the potatoes differently you start to Voila. experiment yeah maybe you add we've had a friend who adds parsley to his tortilla so I, I which think, i don't support which we don't yeah i mean i'm really ambivalent i've never tried it <laughs> the potatoes have been in there let me check the clock for six minutes um i'm going to add the onion now yeah you can just sort of see the potatoes starting to get a little i've, I've turned them to get some color in there yeah color is good color is flavor color is flavor right? fat is flavor color is flavor mm -hmm. all right so i'm going to get in there Oh, the peel. Uh, uh, color blind. Color blind. Yeah. Uh. Can't be an air force, air force pilot, a police officer, an electrician, or a chef. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, what's going on? Ah! Ah, can't see it sure. There was more peel. Ah, okay. Um, okay, so onions in, mix it all around. Do you want to just show that Yali just mixing it up? Mmm. It smells incredible already. I just love. Wait, sorry. Um, you know the onion frying, the smell of it. Yeah. Um, okay. So. <laughs> so that's in there. Doing that's lovely. Thing. Uh -huh. So we're probably gonna leave that in there for four more minutes. Um, or more, I would say. Yeah. Or more. Yeah. Mm. And, and what happens is often people, yeah, probably more. Often people wait till the potatoes get. Uh, Actually, I don't want to kind of call Yoli out on this, but when Yoli taught me initially how to make tortilla, uh, just come in. When the potatoes would, would get soft, Yoli would recommend that I get in there and and like break them up and yeah. get the whole thing. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore either. It's just kind of like, it's gone <laughs> both ways, this tortilla recipe. Because I don't do that, because then the in, it's, it's fine, that's an okay strategy. You effectively mush up the potatoes and get them smaller, mix with the onion. But then your inside of your tortilla is a bit mushy. I like the mm. idea of the inside of the tortilla having actual pieces of fried potato yeah so i don't i don't i don't kind of chop them up anymore also because by chopping i think uh, the starch is liberated ah yeah you we know don't, we yeah we don't want that uh. so i don't really understand starch i don't know if it's my friend or if it's my enemy <laughs> don't know but um yeah now i just leave them whole uh later little slices get them really kind of crunchy because the more color that the potato has and, and, and the onion a little bit, the more flavor it has. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, but that's good. Like, look at that. Wow, that's where you know your flavor is. Look at that juicy, caramelized, you know, some would say potato. halfway burnt. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, you know, you're getting that color in there. You want to just have a look at this bit? Yeah. See the yoli? You got that color in yeah, there as well. That. I love that. I love that. So, right. yeah. This is going to be a good one. Now, salt. Complicated. When Yoli taught me how to make a tortilla, Yoli taught me to add salt at this stage. Hmm. Then I read some recipes where they add salt at a later stage. I don't know what's best. Do you add salt while the onion and potato are frying in the oil? Or do you add salt when the onion and potato are out? Because soon I'm going to take these out to drain. And then I've read that you add salt at that stage. I'm going to stick with that. 
format. I'm not going to add salt here. It's something a bit weird to me about adding salt into the frying oil with the potatoes. I don't know. I don't okay, know. okay. Don't buy it. The thing I wanted to show you guys is something that we have on our fridge that I think is representative of Yoli and my relationship. <laughs> it's this amazing flamenco postcard. So given I'm 41 and Yoli's 36, I'm like the older gentleman here. Uh, and this is Yoli, la flamenca. And then I'm sort of there just kind of keeping an eye. Keeping an eye on me, huh? It's starting to burn. That is starting to so you think be a little done? bit burned to my taste. No, I like that. That's color. Okay, but um, as long as everything is cooked. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to give it one more minute. I'm going to prep the next step. So the next step is effectively you have to take the uh, potato and the onion out of the pan, away from the oil, and let it rest because you're going to have to mix it with the egg. So get a bowl such as this, um, such as this bowl, <laughs> and put a couple of paper towels on the bottom, like that, and then soon we're going to drain this and then put it in here and we're going to wait until it cools down and once the, the potato and onion mixture is cool, we're going to mix it with the egg and then we're going to leave it for about 30 minutes to get all, you know, get all, I don't know, cozy and then we're going to cook it. <laughs> yeah, I can okay. do it. Yeah. I'm just going to do this bit. Because I don't mind it. All right. The idea is that you need to get rid of the excess olive oil. You don't want it to be too oily, mm -hmm. your tortilla. So, I what I do, I mean, every person in the world does this differently, but what I do is I bring them here to the Every egg. person in the world? Yeah, every Spaniard. In the world. <laughs> you press it there and then just blah, lift it. So you're pressing it, you're, you're, leaning, pressing you're trying it to get there. it so the oil is off. Yeah. Yes, yes. Voila. Ah, there. Done. All right, should we switch rolls again now? Yeah. All right. These need to be put over there so that they okay. um, cool down. So something I often don't do, but it's true that Yoli always recommends. So you've got it sitting here, right? You can see that in there. Um, steam coming out. Steam coming out is to put this by the window. Um, you know in those cartoons where grandma puts the pie by the window and the naughty wolf or naughty children steal it? This is not this story. This is the internal patio of the building and nobody does anything out there. And we let that there so that um, it attracts the rats. That's a joke. Um, <laughs> we put it there so that it cools down. So effectively what happens now, you've taken the potato and the onion mixture out. You're going to let it cool for about kind of 15 minutes or so. What you don't want is when you add, you're gonna mix with the egg, you don't want it to cook the egg. Yes, yes. That's key. But I also want to add the salt. Maybe I should add the salt now. When should I add the salt? Whenever you want, given I'm that you never now. follow my yeah. <laughs> I'm advice. Taking, I'm bringing it back. So this is always a little complex because you've got to add the salt. How much salt? I mean, just it's up to your... So always do standard. it from a height because then it looks more elegant. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's just getting there, Yoli. So I've salted this top layer. I always kind of give it a, open it up a little bit so I can get some salt in there. Mm. So a little bit. Of that. My advice would be, really, my advice would be to add the salt um, with the egg at this stage, because now. Oh, afterwards. Yeah, because I once saw it's someone like there with the egg and it's easy. I saw someone do this once on a video. It's kind of you know now it's, a bit it's weird, awkward. Huh? Yeah. yeah, it's a bit weird. Okay, don't do this. <laughs> Okay, so update. We've just been watching a little bit of Netflix while this cooled. Um, and now, yeah, it's good. Not steaming. Take a look in there, Yoli. Mm. You know, what I'll often do is just put my hand over it and see, does it feel... Yeah, that's good. It's not going to cook the egg. So you want to pull out. If you want to get in there, Yoli, I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah, this I always disagree because you're now, yeah... Add in the old well. Wow. Okay. No, yeah. it's okay. No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> so effectively, you add it in there. Uh -huh. and this is important. So you've got your egg mix, and you're going to add your fried potato and onion in, and then just give it a good mix. Get it all cozy. You, you just want to mix it in, and you're going to leave it. I used to leave it a lot longer than I do these days. I used to get very again anal about it. I'd be like, I'm going to leave it three hours, and that will make the tortilla <laughs> taste even better. Don't I was so yeah. hungry by the end. Your leg gets hungry, so I would leave it 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes is enough, just enough for a, you know, 
just an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I actually think it's 40 minutes, is it? Mm, half half, half an hour or so, yeah. Yeah, so you could leave it for a, an episode of Curb and you're good. What you can do, just what? this will freak some people out. Oh, yeah, I'm trying it. So you can taste it. Mm. Mm. Raw egg is fine. Yeah. As long as the healthy Spanish raw egg is fine. I don't know about other raw eggs, but mm -hmm. you can taste that mix and you want to check for salt. Yeah. And if it needs a bit more, add a bit more. So, and then I'm just going to leave it like that so that Yoli won't just get in there and have a look. So I'm just going to give it a good mix around. And that's it. 20 minutes, episode of Curb, 30 minutes, uh, and then come back and then we're going to make the tortilla. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now we need to fry the tortilla. Here, we have this juicy, juicy mixture. Oh, Lovely. so yummy. Can I try some? Yeah, try some yummy. What do you think? Mm. Is it good? Mm. Appro Yoli approved. All right, super taster approved. Okay, yeah. so. You know what, actually? Tell me that's more salt. More salt? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's the salt? <laughs> Yoli's calling for more salt. It's a tiny touch. Ninoi, ninoi. We've got our smaller pan. Now this is the perfect size. I'll make sure I put in the description what the width of this is in yeah. centimeters and inches because I don't know. Um, where's the thingy? Here it is. All right. <laughs> We're going up there. There we go. Hey. This is hard. This You're going to screw this up about four times before you get it right. Um, where's that thing? Uh, oh, I just here. washed it. Yeah. Um, this is where you cook the tortilla and at this point, I'm just going on kind of instinct about how this works, but you have to um, tip your ingredients in, let it cook, and then you have to flip it. Mm -hmm. The flipping thing is really hard. It and is I, hard. Yeah, but it's a comp, it's like backing up a car. It's like it's like backing a trailer. It's like double parking. Once you've got it, you've got it. Not too much oil. A little bit more. Now it's pretty simple. All that kind of cooking and messiness has come back to you in the pan. Mm. You in the pan. Be the pan. Mm. So, I never know. I, I have this thing where I like to get the sides uh, yes. oiled up. Yeah, I like that. Because you don't want the tortilla to stick, stick. on the sides. Uh -huh. That's good. So, I never know. Is it, should I get this hot or not hot? Hot? Yeah, hot. Hot? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I think that's pretty good, Yoli. I think that's good. Okay. So literally just dump that bad boy in there. Wow, yeah. Alright. And so at this point you've dumped it in. Give it a little yes, so. jiggle. Yes. Jiggle it. Yeah. Jiggle it. Yeah, it I good. approve. I approve. And then you're gonna leave it there. Should I turn it down now or no? Hot. No, hot. I mean for me it's like I think of a steak almost. Oh wow. Yeah. Shall I get the sides? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just let me like, you know, 10 Leave seconds. It? 10 seconds, yeah. Okay. So you say one minute on the side, Yoli? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't really do that. I just kind of like do it. Yoli flips it. You flip it more times than me, I think. I flip it twice. Yeah, like like one, twice. twice. Yeah, okay. So this should be a minute. <laughs> I do it a lot less. See, this is where it gets confusing for me, Yoli. Because look, it's not shifting there. So I need to... Now you can start, yeah, doing okay. the edges a bit. Beautiful. And also, you can start smelling the egg cooking. Mm. Yeah, funny right? head smell a can. I like to spin it like that. When I do that, and you can see it spinning, you can make sure it's spinning around the edges. Uh, it I means it's that, not stuck. It means it's not stuck. I learned that from, uh, from a book. Carlos uh, from Terverif, since retired. He used to make a wonderful tortilla Aww. here in Madrid. Carlos, we miss you and your tortilla. We do. So, I'm not counting the seconds. I think that's been like 40 seconds. No, more. No. I think a minute now. So you would flip it now? I will flip it now. Right. But it's your tortilla, baby, remember. Yeah, but I've got low confidence, low tortilla confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about confidence this Okay, dish. okay. Um, okay. Let's I'm see this. Turn it down a little bit because I think it's going to burn. Go for it, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. going to burn. Yeah. Okay. Let's so watch here. you flip it. You got this thing. You got uh -huh. like a lid. This is just a lid. This is, or this is a tortilla. It's flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it, can't, it can't have ridges on here. It's a flat lid. This is a tortilla flipper. Vuelve tortillas is Vuelve called tortillas. in Spanish. So do you want to come around the other side, yes. Yoli, so you yeah. can see? This is all about confidence, this bit. You'll hate it the first five times and you'll be so nervous once you've got it. Hola, mi amor. Hola, mi amor. You've Ole. got it. Look at that, baby. Beautiful color. Yeah, boy. Lucky you took it out.
Now I hate getting this, I hate this bit. I never know how to do it. I always, ah! <laughs> Again, jiggle it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna put it in medium heat. Yeah. Because what you don't want is to burn the outside and have it kind of super uncooked on the inside. I like it runny on the inside. Um, but you know, you you could just if you have it on a high heat, you just totally burn the outside. It'll be like really raw on the inside. Yeah. So you got to find a balance. This side, I don't know how long would you leave it now for, Yoli? Uh, forty seconds or so. Oh wow, you're pretty. Daring with your tortillas. 40 seconds and then I lower it and I give it a second flip. And oh. that's kind of a usually. It's a very, like, it's, it's happening. You've got to be there, you've got to be the tortilla. You need to be uh, present, you need to smell the egg, whether it's like, you know, cooking or not. Mm, smells so good. Mm. We're moving. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going. Yeah. We're going back over. I do it over the sink. Ba -da -da, boom, boom, boom. Ba -da -da. more time that's no, all I'm nice. done. no it's good yeah, okay you're always okay. happy yeah. um lower it right, lower it yeah and then you really want to ah, i hate this <laughs> never do this don't grab it like that you need to grab it on the base what are you doing you're I burning can't. your fingers no I? no it's okay ah <laughs> done you need to grab it from the i thing. can't grab it on the base see here's the issue <laughs> This is the thing that I have never mastered in the tortilla, is when I grab it on the base, I burn my knuckles on the pan. <laughs> so I'm always grabbing it like this, and it's like, Rah! it's like such a, you know, I don't have enough, like some sort of fulcrum thing, or physic, and it's like falling off. I can't believe you grab it like that, it's nuts. I mean, I think you spend your whole life trying to figure out how to make a tortilla. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that, um, I don't know, another minute, plate. If I was very skilled, I'd put it there and then flip it down, and that would be the serving plate, but I'm not, so I need to You want to be safe, yeah. Yeah, I want to be safe. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this over here. Hey, where are we going? Epa. There we go. A little bit mm -hmm. color there. I might have had a color on my tortilla. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you so can, exactly. That way we won't, see, we won't see the excess of color. That's perfect, yeah. <gasps> there is the tortilla. Oh. Thank you, man. Uh, so ready to go, so I'm going to leave that for about, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, let it cool down, make the salad, uh, and we'll be back for the tasting. Okay, tortilla. Time for dinner. I'm pretty hungry right now, so... Let's do it. Let's go. Yippee! <laughs> that sounded like the noise that the predator makes. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I know it's in the movie, actually, so... Uh, quarantine, I'm not quarantine cinema. <laughs> Right. We recently stopped using paper napkins, environmentally friendly cloth. Um, I'm sure someone will send a study that shows that it's not because you have to wash them, but we'll wait for that. Uh, all right, time to taste it. Let's see. Oh my god, the tension is killing me. Let's get in there, have a look. It's pretty not cooked. I think. Ooh, yeah, boy. It's beautiful. Perfect. It's good. Perfect. It's good. Yep. And some very simple quarantine salad. Quarantine salad. There we go. Yum. Salad tortilla. The perfect dinner. All right. Moment of truth. Trying the tortilla. <laughs> so exciting. Is it good? Mm. Did you nail it? It's good. It's really good. Is it your best yet? No, it's not. I can I see was, it in your face. No, you know what? It mm -hmm. might be my best yet. I was <laughs> going to say I could use a little more salt, oh. but I actually don't think it needs it. I think okay. it actually has complexity. Mm -hmm. um, it is really good. A little bit of firmness from the potatoes, creaminess from the egg, color on the outside, a little bit of that caramelization on the potatoes. I mean, incredible, right? It's good, guys. It's really good. Yeah. And just having with a simple salad, iceberg, lettuce, I know that's like probably horrendous, but sometimes just that and salad, something sharp and vinegary, you know, to go with it. What a wonderful dinner. And this will be what we have for breakfast tomorrow. So, hasta luego from Quarantine Cooking. From ciao, ciao. the world of wherever we are right now in the world. <laughs>
and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, hope you like this, guys. Ciao. Ciao.